among the judges, we have the people who are involved in the startup uh, ecosystem development in Tajikistan. So I'd like to start with uh, Ms. Uh, <clears throat> Dr. Manija Muhammad. So she's a basically a pioneer uh, in the development of a startup ecosystem in Tajikistan. And also she she's a founder of a business IT incubator back in 2000. 12, uh, 20 and 12, and she was also uh, offered uh, she, she, with a with a with a uh, group uh, of of the I, 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 IT uh, people uh, back in two thousand fourteen. Sh they've launched their business IT incubator uh, and implemented the first project to support uh, the girls in IT sector. And also, she was one of the initiators of uh, the di digitalization of the uh, medicine industry in Tajikistan and also uh, introducing the full-fledged electronic documentation management in the healthcare system, and which has already been implementing in uh, most of the uh, state uh, healthcare uh, system. And another judge whom I would like to also introduce is uh, Mr. Abdullah Kurbanov. So he, as you know, uh, he represents uh, the uh, the Alif Bank. So he is the CEO and the co-founder of Alif. Uh, and uh, Alif Bank, they started with as a, um, uh, the a microfinance institution, and just in a short term, they uh, fastly grow to the Neo Bank uh, in Tajikistan, basically by introducing the new fintech technologies. And right now, Alif uh, as they started with a small group of people, and right now they've reached more than 400 employees. And right now they have uh, around more than uh, 300,000 users, not just from Tajikistan, but also from Uzbekistan and Russia. And also uh, in recent uh, years, they have been also represent, I mean, they have their uh, representation in Uzbekistan and also um, penetrating in the Central Asian market. And another, last but not least, one of our youngest and one of the very interesting uh, judge is uh, uh, Mr. Aziz John Azimi. And most of you probably heard about the artificial intelligence uh, uh, in a, in a initiator in Tajikistan, uh, and he's the the founder and the chairman of the Tajrapt um, is a, a Tajik-based NGO dedicated to empower uh, the youth in the country by encouraging the critical thinking uh, and um, communicating awareness on the uh, AI while breaking down the conventional st stereotypes. And we are happy to have our judge today and from our finalists, I would like to shortly introduce them. Uh, <clears throat> uh, just a second. Yeah, and today our... Uh, uh, I would like to present our uh, participants today. So we have, uh, we have <clears throat> finalists. Uh, this is a, a team of uh, the IT, I mean, uh, the technology guys, their startup called Seer Technology, uh, run and founded by Hilolidin. And they have a, de developed a Seer gate, a universal gateway that, transform non-smart elect non electricity meters to smart at minimum cost, making it attractive for the electricity uh, providers with uh, ever increasing the tariffs, uh, the electricity bill in Tajikistan average takes up to 10% of the budget of the mid-class family in Tajikistan and powered by non um, entrustive uh, load monitoring uh, basically can analyze the consumption of the households and provide the useful stats and the tips uh, to lower their consumptions. So another another uh, startup that uh, came to the final stage is Art Studio Digital uh, Dance 
dentistry is Raushan uh, Zakirov. So it's the first digital dentistry in Tajikistan. And I very uh, looking forward to hear their pitches pitch today because it's very promising as a uh, new uh, era of the stage of the, uh, you know, the development in the dentistry. And the Central Asia Commercial Solutions, uh, represented by Akmal Tojiboyev, uh, they provide in, um, innovative solutions for the developing of the international businesses on the Central Asian region, especially uh, such the direction as an international sales promotion, international marketing, international business outsourcing, and branding and so more on, on the uh, commercial solutions. Tatkikot uh, with Rusht LLC. Uh, this, this, pro this startup is found and run by Ruslan Boboyev. So basically the main purpose of this startup is uh, access to customers to all types of the goods and services of uh, markets uh, with the web and the mobile applications. And, and uh, easy to use uh, the, the purchase and the delivery service uh, from any point of the Tajikistan. And last but not least, the Balkhcom uh, startup represented by Abu Sali Abdurrahmanov. So they are the EMS um, uh, system. So that brings three innovations uh, to the world that we may be uh, widely during the the time such as a pandemic, the period. So less physical <clears throat> interaction, the healthcare history of the person from a uh, moment of the birth till you know the, the last day. So basically they are uh, providing this, um, uh, uh, the, the system would basically provides a, 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 the, the historical data and plus um, the features that they've developed. So, uh, these are our participants, and in terms of our sponsor, I would like to thank uh, our sponsor, sp sponsor, the Parking Cafe. Uh, they are our national sponsor, and this year the parking uh, parking is basically one of the innovators also in the industry of entertainment, of, uh, where they are catering not just the uh, traditional cafe, but also the it merges. Uh, with the uh, you know entertainment uh, plus education and plus uh, the collaborative works uh, in form of the co-working spaces and uh, providing um, uh, also the resources uh, mostly in forms of in terms of the books and uh, the parking become a, a, you know a national a platform where the top speakers, not just internally, but uh, from the region and the globe, they were giving, uh, you know, this uh, the speeches and basically were sharing their uh, knowledge and uh, experience on how to do a, a business and in terms of the running the the startup. So and uh, today. This is it in terms of the welcome site. So I am. I like to refer right now to our uh, judges. Are they okay in terms of the technical uh, and connection wise? Are they all in? If so, then we will pass uh, to we'll pass to the uh, pitching session. Uh, and I, I do apologize. Uh, also, I forgot to uh, introduce today our uh, team leader of uh, an enterprise, uh, enterprise and innovation project in Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan. And our team leader is Hoda Salman. Hoda, are you here with us? Yes. Hi, Ali Sher. I'm here. Yeah. Can you hear me well? Yep, yeah, uh, we can hear you well. Thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm passing this uh, state um, floor to you and happy to hear from you the welcome speech. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alishir. Good morning, afternoon or evening, depending on when, where you are globally. And welcome to you all to the EWC National Finals of Tajikistan, hosted locally by Peak Tajikistan for the second year in a row. We're very excited that we have from the 103 applications received, we have shortlisted 13 promising startups for the semifinals, and today we will be 
Uh, we have five uh, national finalists uh, competing. I would like to particularly welcome these five finalists who, as uh, Ali Sher just mentioned, represent various industries. And I want to congratulate you all for coming this far in this national competition. And I wish you all the best for today. We look forward to hearing about your unique business products and services. I would also like to welcome and thank again, um, after, after Alicia, thank again our esteemed panel of judges for their participation, for their time and contributions to make this event a success. Um, and of course, to our prime. My final thanks go, of course, to the Peak du Chambé team for organizing and running this event. And I want to wish you good luck for today. Back to you, Alisher. Uh, thank you very much, Shoda, uh, for joining us, for giving this speech. Uh, yeah, we are also excited to, as I said, uh, to be a host of this, such a large event in, Tajik, uh, in the globe and represent the Tajikistan. So if, if I may also uh, know whether our uh, judges, are, if they are okay in terms of connection, so, and I, I do apologize. Also, I see that uh, the representative of the parking, Mr. Siouj Mominov is here. Uh, Mr. Siouj, can you hear us? Good afternoon. Yes, loud and clear. Good, good. So, yeah, I, I was like looking at the, uh, at the uh, platform and I couldn't find your name. So I basically shortly introduced and thanked your uh, organization, the parking, for supporting this event this year. And um, I'm giving you a chance uh, to say a, a little bit about your uh, about your startup. So parking is also another uh, very uh, pro progressive and very, uh, you know, famous st startup in Tajikistan. So please, floor is yours. Oh, thank you very much, Avishar. I think you described parking as good as I, I will never do it like you, you know. Thank you very much for that. And uh, parking is very honored to be part of uh, this event and hope that uh, champions will achieve their goals in the future. Thank you very much. Please, Thank the you. floor is yours, Alshir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much for joining. Uh, I don't want to right now announce uh, the no final price that you, have, you are offering as our sponsor. So let me announce this once we will identify our uh, first three winners. So basically two winners will go first place and the second place they will go to the, the global EWC. And, and in terms of the national, so we will have uh, three finalists and two will go to, uh, to this global EWC. And, but uh, th three companies will receive a gift from our sponsor, the parking, and I will announce this at the end of this uh, event today. So if, uh, if I see that judges are, are here, they are all in our platform now. So I will then, uh, okay, so I will pass then to our first uh, pitch. Uh, Uh, Steer Technology, uh, Said. I'm representing Steer Technology today. Can I go ahead? Yeah, yeah sorry. Uh, yes, Said, please go ahead. And if, if possible, uh, uh, let me stop uh, my screen yeah. so that you can share. Yeah, sorry. Just okay. a second. It's good. So, um, can you hear me well? Can you see my screen? Yeah, and basically you have three minutes as yeah. what's been announced. Yeah, please go ahead. So, hey guys, thank you. Um, I represent Sir Technology, the first IoT system developer in Tajikistan. We offer full stack solutions from hardware design to mobile applications. We are focusing on two main problems in Tajikistan, which are the energy deficit. As you may know, up to 70% of the population of uh, Tajikistan currently suffers from a blackout during winter. And the second problem we focus on is the energy affordability. Basically up to 10% of household budgets is spent on electricity bills. So these are, these are due to outdated control system, mainly excessive intermediaries in the 
systems of the supply, uh, suppliers of electricity and system errors and failures, system delays and convenience. So due to these reasons, the payment rate in Tajikistan is quite low, which is up to 80%. And the government, because of this, is trying to solve, resolve this issue by introducing smart grid, which automates the control. And the main component of the smart grid is smart meter with functions like remote metering and remote control. And within six months of introduction in Fujian, the payment rate increased to 100%. So government wants to introduce it uh, throughout the whole country, and but it's gonna take some time and a lot of investment. Uh, with our estimates, it's gonna take up to half a billion dollars to install whole, uh, in whole Tajikistan. So therefore, in collaboration with Bakke Tajik, the main electricity supplier in Tajikistan, we developed a SIR gate, a device that transforms electronic meters to smart. Um, it, ha it has all the necessary functionalities of uh, smart meters while being 20 times cheaper, and also it's compatible with existing in infrastructure. Here's how it looks. In here, we're showing how we connect it to an electronic meter via the uh, impulse meter. So also we're developing SIR app, which will allow households to monitor their daily consumption and minimize it. It is powered by ML, uh, which will let the users know how much energy they spent on exactly what. So far we finished our prototyping, uh, hardware and firmware design, finished our prototype testing. We're expecting uh, investment from ADB Ventures. We are expected to um, in, uh, install 200,000, uh, 2,000 uh, devices in Rudaki region of Dushanbe, get our certification, gather data for our ML training and deploy our app. Uh, and uh, we are planning to develop our product package and establish B2C channel. Here's our team. Uh, our CEO, Hiloludin is a hardware guy with 10 years experience. And Abdurashid is our operations uh, manager and me, I'm the software guy. Thank you. If you have any questions, please do. Almost on time. So it's precisely three minutes. Thank you very much, Saeed. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you very much. So, uh, dear judge, uh, now you have chance uh, to ask the question. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the participants, you can write uh, <clears throat> your questions uh, in the chat box uh, so we can see it from the live stream. Thank you. Any questions, dear Jess? Yes, hello. May I ask? Yes. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much for your introduction. And uh, I want to ask you just one thing about uh, your collaboration with the government. Uh, in a what based is uh, now uh, you are connected on uh, some contract or anything? Just explain this part. Well, yes, we have sent a letter uh, to the Bakke Tajik and we got the letter of approval. And as we have shown here, they have given us permission to install 2000 devices in Rudaki region. But due to the COVID, the uh, procedure went, uh, is on a pause right now and we're expecting fi uh, financing. So we actually tried to get it, the investment from ADB for this, for piloting. But you have full uh, just an uh, approval from the government to work in this yeah. field. Yeah, yeah. OK, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Could I jump thank in you. the question as well? Yeah. Awesome. Great. Mm -hmm. uh, love your project, guys. I think you're doing an amazing work with uh, both the, the technical and the business side of it. Um, just one question I have is you mentioned data collection for machine learning training. And as yeah. I'm sure you know, with machine learning, there's a problem with data quality, right? If your underlying data is of low quality, your models will be of low quality as well. So how will you make sure that the data you generate is uh, quality enough in order to build the right machine learning models? Thank you. Yeah, you're right. Actually, uh, there are open source data sets right now uh, in the public. Uh, NILM uh, is a, op uh, a big community right now. And we're actually thinking about the data quality and therefore we want to make a small sample of 2000 households and control the data quality. Did I answer your question enough? Uh, right, but uh, when you sort of collect the data, you build the models, what exactly will your machine learning model do? 
Is it prediction yeah, models? So basically, the, the, the problem is classification problem. It is, uh, we are there are basically three categories of devices from um, binary state, like on and off, like let's say light bulb and tri state, like an analog, for example, your heater. So within these three categories, there are other categories. So basically we're trying to classify devices into groups. And the, um, if you wanna know the network itself is a long, long short memory, a long short term memory, LSTM, uh, it's a RNN, recursive, uh, recurrent neural net. And the first prototype actually, we are planning to try a start, started with a classical approach, just showing uh, or how much they have spent daily, weekly, monthly. And then once we gather the data, we want to start the first uh, version of uh, our RNN. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. If we have time, I just want to, I'll share, do we have time? Yeah, yeah we have uh, three more minutes. Please cool. go ahead. Thanks very much. Saeed, thank you very much for the presentation. Very exciting. I've seen a couple of people trying to tackle this issue uh, in Tajikistan. And of course, it seems like the key to success is the process of selecting the, the vendors by the government. So I just wanted to ask who runs the process? Is it uh, the government is an international driver behind this process? How the process is going to be run? Like, what is the selection criteria? Why do you think that you would be the one who will be, you know, selected during this process? Mm. So, uh, the uh, currently our main contact is Parfait Tajik. We are holding conversations only with them, and um, the selection procedure is based on, I think, a tender. And we sent our uh, project, and we got selected based on a letter. And uh, I think. The funding is from um, international funds. Uh, and uh, we don't know exactly how Barclay Project selects, but we've been selected based on our, the uh, prices of our, uh, basically we're offering a really cheap solution. Okay, uh, so if, you know, okay. So if someone undercuts you, that's, you, you will probably lose the deal, I guess. Or, and, and, and if you comment on that and also what, you know, what are the next steps? Like, uh, is there a deadline? Is there a timeline? Yes, the deadline is, um, so be, uh, before the COVID, actually, before COVID started, uh, it's um, in 2020, January, we wanted to uh, pilot. And the piloting uh, stage, this stage, we are planning to complete it within three months. And after that, uh, install installing 200,000 units Actually, oh, thank you very much, Said, uh, for the you. pitch, yeah. for the questions, and thanks for the judge for the very constructive uh, question session. So uh, let's move to our next participant. Art Studio, are you guys here? Can you hear me? Hello? Raushan? Hello, Raushan, can you hear me? Hello, Raushan? Uh, I see your name here, you are muted. Can you please unmute and switch your video? Hello. Okay, if... Okay, if uh, Ravshan, if you are, if you are here, once you are okay, please uh, write on the chat. So then let's move in order to save the time. Let's move to our next participant. So our next participant is 
Central Asian Commercial Solutions, Akmal Tojiboyev. Akmal, can you hear me? Hello? Uh, hello, yes, I'm here. Thank you for finding the time. Well, I think you are, uh, okay, you, you good? Can you hear, hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, uh, Perfect. I can hear you. That's all Perfect. right. So, yeah, we, we can hear you, we can uh, see you basically. Uh, so you ready to present your pitch? Yes, of course. Okay, yes. thank you. So please take your time. So you have uh, three minutes for pitching and we have five minutes for Q&A session. All the best, good luck. Thank you. Uh, hello, uh, dear uh, participants and, uh, I, uh, and dear guests. Thank you for finding the time uh, for the participating in the event. Uh, my name is Akhmal Tajibolfi. I'm represented from the Central Asian Commercial Solutions uh, based in the Tajikistan Dushanbe. Well, uh, well, our, uh, our main uh, objectives, uh, our main objectives are based on developing and uh, promoting Central Asian national companies uh, on, the, on the world markets. Well, uh, and uh, of, course, uh, of course, we usually do well. Uh, we usually develop uh, international marketing solutions, uh, sell, uh, uh, global sales solutions. And even we use, and even uh, we uh, elaborate uh, perspective uh, sales promotion techniques uh, based uh, based on the uh, central Asian uh, commercial needs and uh, expectations. Uh, namely, uh, I must recognize, I must recognize. Uh, uh, Tajikistan and Central Asian companies, international companies, needs uh, uh, need uh, usually uh, uh, usually uh, many uh, profitable uh, profitable uh, interna international business development solutions, namely uh, namely uh, namely uh, for the uh, for the uh, resolving. Uh, of this problem, uh, these problems, uh, or this problem, we uh, we implement such the uh, business directions as Central Asian as the Central Asian Commercial Solutions. Well, we our main targets, our main targets, uh, our main targets uh, direct direct uh, will be directed for the implementing. Was implementing uh, a perspective international uh, business in the Central Asian markets. Uh, it, Akmal, uh, I do apologize. Be, yes. yes, yes. Yeah, sorry, yes. your your time is up. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Yeah, unfortunately, I need to stop you. And so we have okay, right you. now the Q and A session. Uh, dear judge, please, if you have any questions, feel free. Well, thank you. Um, if um, I, on my side, I, I still am not clear what services you provide. If you can give an example of something you've done uh, that would be helpful, a project you have done that probably generated some revenue for you, maybe that would clarify. Thank you. Uh, of course. Uh, well, uh, we have uh, we uh, last uh, last. Uh, Six months, we had uh, perspective uh, business agreements with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, with the prospective uh, international companies, uh, which usually develop uh, its uh, its international business in the Central Asian markets. Well, it uh, would be it uh, uh, it uh, will. Uh, uh, it uh, would be uh, such a directions as uh, distribution, uh, FMG, FMCG uh, uh, directions, namely 
when I uh, when I have uh, when I uh, when I have uh, mean FMC directions, it's uh, usually uh, customers, goods, and uh, customers moving uh, goods. Well, then uh, we we usually have uh, we usually have uh, such a perspective partnership agreement with the Argus Argus Media with the Volsky auction it uh, it's an uh, international company which usually uh, distribute uh, its products for the international markets well uh, accordingly accordingly we uh, have we have usually respect to uh, distribution agreements with uh, uh, with uh, uh, with the with the uh, main, I can say with the most perspective international campaign, camp, company company as uh, C uh, uh, as uh, Bas so Bas Chemical Company. Uh, well, and I must recognize we we, we was able uh, to develop uh, to develop. Uh, bus uh, business aspirations and uh, uh, and uh, product lines in the Central Asian markets. Well, I must recognize it. It, uh, uh, it was very perspective directions for the sustainable development. Yes, thank you. I I think Mr. Abdullah, you yeah. Okay, if it's good. So I will then uh, give uh, opportunity to ask a question from uh, to other judges, please. So we have last minute. Uh, last one more minute, yeah, please. Okay, uh, I can, I, so there, if there is no question, so, Thank you very much, Mr. Akmal. Please be with us. So basically, yeah, we'll, uh, so our judges, once all the pitches are done, they will uh, basically will evaluate all of all of the participants, and we will announce uh, the winners. Okay, please stay with us. Thank you. Okay, now I can see the Raushan Zokirov. Uh, Raushan, uh, can you hear me now? Hello, Raushan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hearing it. Okay, thank you very much for joining. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I late because uh, I bring my wife just from the hospital. Oh. I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay, good, good. Thank you very much. I hope. Uh, can you hear me? With, with your, yeah, yeah, we can hear. There is some echo. I think, uh, Mr. Akmal, can you please mute your mic? I think there's some, uh, sure. e yeah, some background noise is coming. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. Now it's good. Uh, so Raushan, uh, I hope you and your families are now okay. Good. And yeah, yeah, my, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, okay. So as you know, we you have a three minutes for the pitching session and five minutes for okay. the Q&A session. If you okay. are uh, ready, so all the best, good luck. So okay. time is, you know, the floor is yours. Yeah, please manage your time wisely, thank you. Okay, can I start now? Yes, please, go ahead. Okay. Hi guys, I'm Raushan Zakirov, I'm 31, I'm a dentist. I'm graduated from Cairo University in Egypt. I'm here to present you about the dentistry. What's the problem we have in the Tajikistan about the dentistry? The first, the most dental clinics in Central Asia are using the post-Soviet Union methods of the treatment for over 20 years. Uh, Zohir, which is I did uh, uh, Raushan, sorry, uh, can you please uh, share your slides? I, the, the, you have the pitch, right? Yeah, sorry, it's my in, it's in my laptop. I have the oh. bed wireless, so I start with my mobile. You know, so I don't have it in mobile. If you have it, no, it's 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 fine. Okay, then go ahead. Sorry, I yeah, sorry, go ahead. I'm really.
So there are two problems in dentistry in Tajikistan. The first, most dental clinics in Central Asia for over 20 years, which is uh, using the post-Soviet Union method of treatment, which is backward and outdated. Second, in such dental clinic, money, uh, the money is in the first place and the quality, how it goes. Dentists, utilizing the unawareness of the people abuse, deceive them with the hyper treatment plans, thinking only about their material benefit and is a real problem. And uh, what makes my solution is special and uh, what's the different, I am different from the others. The difference is me, my knowledge and experience acquired in one of the top university in the world at the Cairo University in Egypt, cause university in Russia and in Middle Asia are still teaching according to the post-Soviet Union program, which is uh, really corrupted and uh, you know it, they are outdated. Uh, so the, my solution is, is to open the network of in-house style dental clinics using the innovative technology with AI, artificial intellect. Over the past three years, artificial, artificial intellect develops very quickly in dentistry is no exception. And the old dental, uh, all the digital dental uh, equipments work with AI. And the style of in-house dentistry does not need a large number of space and staff. And the emphasis is the innovative technologies and digital equipment with AI. In order to provide each patient with quality service, such dentistry works for quality by using AI and not for quantity as in other clinics. The most important things for me is the health of the people and the people has is not business for me. And uh, I will give you some examples about how the digital dental equipment is working. Imagine you, are, you have a broken teeth and urgently you need a crown or bridge. So you will come to the digital dental clinic and uh, the doctor will scan your, uh, will prepare your teeth and scanning with the intra oral scanner, preparing in three, in three digital, uh, in three dimension design, sending to the milling machine and the milling machine is printing for you the high quality aesthetic crown or bridge and fixing it to you. Guys, I think I finished. Okay, good. So you are almost on time, yeah, almost on time. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, if you you finish, so we will uh, start the Q and A session. Uh, yeah. Okay. Dear judge, uh, if you have any question, please uh, go ahead. I could chime in with a question real quick. Uh, hey, Roshan, thank you. Uh, Hi, so man. The question I have is. Uh, you mentioned uh, you mentioned uh, AI. Your product. The issue, the issue yeah. With AI certainly is that there's a lot of hype in it, right? So I think yeah, if, yeah. If, if you give specific examples of how AI can be used in dentistry, you know, of how you perhaps have used it, I think that. Would yeah, be yeah, yeah. Sense. You know, uh, the digital uh, digital dental equipment they are working with just be soft. You know, so. When I'm uh, installing the digital equipment in my clinic, they have the soft, which is, they are working with it. Without soft, the equipment is not working, as we know. So the every soft now, they have AI program, uh, applying AI on it. So it's just suggesting to me when I'm scanning the T's, they are quickly making me for, you know, uh, anatomical crown just in the second. You got the idea? Have you actually tested this or is it just an idea you have? I worked with it because uh, if you, because in the dental, uh, in the dental soft, they have, you know, a 3D dimension uh, program, which we are, when I'm scanning, it's quickly giving to my laptop with a 3D model, you understand? So as I scan the AI in the soft, is giving to me the prepare, uh, you know, I don't need to say it, sit and to make a design for the crown. You understand? The AI is suggesting the places which I'm making for the crown and it's giving me the exact crown which is in the place because the every teeth have its own crown. For, for example, central areas, the premolar, smolars, you understand?
Hello, can you hear me? I have more questions, but I think I'll defer to Dr. Mija. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much for the pitch. And uh, uh, let us know, please, what is your what is your startup? Because uh, what we are hearing now, it's uh, just a trend of technology, but uh, it's uh, what is the startup idea? The software which is, uh, will be used uh, in, uh, in this method, is it your software or it's already developed by somewhere? Uh, no, 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 what? it's, uh, you know, in the medicines, we don't have any, you know, we are not scientists. Yeah, just, it means uh, that uh, this is just a transfer of uh, technology, but uh, this yeah, is not a... Yeah, 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 just the only the transfer of the technology in the dental clinics in the Middle Asia, because yeah, okay, uh, now, thank uh, yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you. So we have uh, last minutes. Any other question? Uh, Mr. Abdullah, if you have any question, please. Yeah, quick one, Rafshan. I'm not, not, not sure if you mentioned it. Uh, do you already have any uh, traction, any any clients, any any uh, experience like with, with this particular idea? Yeah, I I have uh, I have been working in after my graduation in 2015 in Egypt. I worked one in the prestigious uh, clinic in the Egypt in the Cairo. So there in the clinic we have you know the digital technologies, uh, and we are like you know if you go if if you go to the any clinic in Tajikistan they will give you the crown after ten days or two weeks, you know. But there we are was working when the patient was entering to the us, we was uh, fixing the permanent crown in the same day with the just scanning, printing to me, and the same time in between one hours, we are was fixing the crowns. So I have the idea about it and I was working with it. Okay, thanks. Yeah, Raushan, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, for the pitch. And please uh, stay with us. Thank you. Thank so you. We will, yeah, we will move to another. Uh, so we'll, we are moving to our next participant. Okay. Okay. Uh, Abu Sali from Balkh, are you? Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Can you hear me? If you are ready, uh, please go ahead with your presentation. So as uh, as you know, according to uh, our uh, instruct, I mean, according to the uh, the rules, so you have three minutes for your pitch and five minutes for the Q and A session. If 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 you are okay, if everything is ready, so please go ahead. Okay. All the best. Good luck. Okay. Thanks. Please wait one minute. I. Yeah, if you have your pitch ready, please uh, share your screen so that we all can see your pitch. Thank you. Can you see it? Yeah, please go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, uh, good afternoon, guys. My name is Abdurrahman Al-Fawasali and uh, I'm 18 years old. I'm a student in Technological University and I'm a team leader of Balkh team. Uh, and uh, the, who we are, we aim to change the experience of a medical system around the world. It, this is our project. The EMS, the EMS is a system that brings free innovation to the world that may be visual during times such as pandemic period. This is a less physical interaction, health history of a person from a moment birth till he, his or her last day, and a regional and global health statistic. Physical connection against the backdrop of the COVID-19 pandemic, the world has come to realize that physical interaction should be minimized. The EMS will provide the list of services that will reduce physical interaction, such as online consultation and online appointments. Medical history, let's imagine a person who got to the hospital was highly injured and unconscious. The doctor don't know what medicine uh, he may be allergic to, 
what medication has a contraindication, what blood group he has, he was sick before, how he was sick before, and so on. And there is no one close the patient to give information to the doctor. And this time, our product is help to doctors to find all information about uh, how uh, he was sick before, uh, about his uh, sick of patient. Origin and global uh, statistics. Imagine if we had a chance to have the health statistics of a specific region whenever we want. For example, you got a flu, your family members got a flu, and you wonder that the situation in Tajikistan in general with the flu, you go into EMS system and see that the number of people with flu increased by 60% in just in five days. In this case, all the people will, uh, will, will, will be carefully. And why the EMS? Uh, imagine that before the pandemic, we had an opportunity to see the regional statistic people would be more careful. They would go to the stay at home, save their lives, more even without government regulation. This would help a lot of lives. Also, currently, there is so much system that could provide such functionality, not only in Central Asia, but in the whole globe in the general. Market experience. The volume of global healthcare and the faster uh, global healthcare market in 2014 exceed in a trillion dollars and the fastest growing in segment was the market for med medical information system and technologies are digital medicine and in the USA the volume of the EMS market in 2010 amounted to 15.7 people billion dollars EMS market growth in 2009 in, uh, was I, 10, 10 Salih, yeah Abu Salih your time is up uh, sorry, I need to stop you here. Okay. And yeah, let's switch to the Q and A session. Uh, I, I know Dr. Amina, uh, Dr. Manija has a lot uh, in terms of experience of doing no healthcare system. So I think the first question perhaps uh, will go to will come from uh, Dr. Manija. Please, dear judge. Yeah, thank you, Arusha. Uh, I want to know, thank you for uh, presentation and uh, just let me know about the, uh, what achievement you have uh, up to date. Okay, good, uh, good question. But right now, it, this is the idea stage and uh, we are on the, uh, this is also, uh, right now it's idea, but we haven't any product, uh, any prototype. And uh, uh, after, and after investing, and after okay. the taking giving taking investment, we are going to uh, develop our product. Okay, and uh, if it possible, just uh, the second question about uh, what will be the technology you will use for backend. Please can you try. Uh, what technology? What uh, language uh, you will use for backend? For for development of the software, what uh, languages you will use? The language, the programming language, language you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the language of programming. Uh, first, for backend, uh, we will use the. We are not. Okay, you will uh, you will tell us maybe later. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. okay. Any other question? Yeah, I guess I can go. Uh, sorry, thanks. Uh, so, if you had the money you are uh, want to raise right now, um, what would be the things you would do in the first three months uh, once you raise the amount of money you're looking for? Firstly, we are going to if we are going to collect the specialist to develop our product, and in in the first three months, we are going to uh, firstly de develop our pro product and the test in the two hospital or medical institution.
Okay. Why, why would those medical institutions choose you? Do, do you have any any thoughts how you would start giving them that you know your pitch? Uh, we, your are going, we are going. Uh, we are going to support with uh, health organizations. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we have last, we can take your last question. Aziz John, have any question? No questions on my side, thank you. Yeah, thank you. So if no question, then Abu Sal, thank you very much for your pitch. You have the interesting uh, project. So let's move to our next candidate. Okay. Can you please, Abu Sali, stop screening your share so that our next participant can uh, play the page? So, our next participant is Tatkikot uh, with Rushd LLC, Ruslan Boboyev. Ruslan, can you hear me? You are you you are on mute. Can you please unmute your mic? Yeah. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Hope my voice is clear. Sure, sure. Everything is good. Are you ready? Perfect. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, good, good. Nice to hear you and see you. So, Ruslan, so you have uh, three minutes, as uh, we've been explaining from the very beginning of this uh, event. And three, five minutes, uh, we will have a uh, Q&A session. So if you are ready, please go ahead. All the best. Yeah, thank you very much. And hi to everyone. Uh, so basically, the product that we are, which I wanted to present it today is the GeoMarket. So uh, basically, uh, the, a little bit about the R&D, the research and development company, LLC, that we established. Uh, we basically doing this visualization on the mapping and uh, doing the IT development and also disaster risk management, which we worked earlier that I had experience before. Uh, but with the new system, we did the research on the market that in which industry are basically using the mapping and the geo market, basically, uh, which is the new term for the system. We did the some analysis. Uh, of the market and we come up that in Tajikistan basically there is a very uh, very small audience that is using the map and the geolocation and with the uh, geo analysis basically and uh, we developed around this um, uh, this uh, around this component uh, using the JS uh, platform building on it the infrastructure that exists in Dushanbe and then uh, we put the information together and we come up with the application. So currently we call it the Geo, Geo Market application, which is uh, basically we develop and it's around 80% uh, the application development that we are completing. Uh, now we are working on, uh, on the data collection and uh, generating the data. So basically there is a question, there is a lot of application. What will be the advantage of the Geo Market application in the market today, nowadays? Uh, the main aim and the main goal is of this application is to merge the majority of the sector which are working, starting from the taxi and with the service industrial and all the companies that are providing service uh, uh, in the place. But then the, there is coming the question that there is already exists a map on the system. And as you, the people who use the maps, that they know well that the current uh, mapping system in, in, in Dushanbe and in Tajikistan and basically in CISS country too much updated. Our technical team is doing the digitalization of the infrastructure and to do the indexation and connection with the, uh, with the, with the services that are that, that around. So the advantage that, uh, for instance, if you order the taxi, you can do on your application, downloading this application, you are just putting your start point and the end point, and it automatically show you the direction and doing the calculation based on the meter that they have and the tariff that they have. But also when you will drive with the taxi, there will be the pop-up, uh, the new information, the industrial, which is uh, around this uh, places. 
and uh, then basically uh, the uh, all information on the services that which will provide it will be uh, on this uh, when you're moving you can see on the map or when you will show your geolocation then it shows you the what are the industrial around you and there is a lot of services that uh, on the on the platform our main Ruslan, goal I, is yes Ruslan, i do apologize your time is up i need to Perfect. stop you yeah, yeah sorry i, I try all my best within the three minutes <laughs> yeah thank you thank you very much i hope that you you've gone through almost all your uh, yeah, it's 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 sites. it's it's eighty okay. percent done. But hope the judge will ask the question that which I miss miss it. And it's very okay. good to hear the judges with the technical background. I hope they. Okay. Yeah, we have very good uh, judges, and believe me, all of them they have a very good uh, background in terms of the IT, the technology, and even the coding. I know these guys are very very, you know, good, uh, talented on the, on this, and they have a lot of skills and experience uh, in this industry so dear judge please go ahead uh, with the questions and yeah we have five more minutes for q a session i guess uh, i could start um, and let ruslan maybe just tell us about the deployment i i will use my question uh, for that yeah, uh, basically, we, we, we thank you very much and you give me the chance to finish my slide, <laughs> basically. So uh, we already finished the, this and we are just finalizing the data collection and the partners which are interesting to be as all, already in this platform, we we contacting them and uh, we are planning to do the deployment within the next uh, two months. We are not rushed with the deployment because we wanted to bring to the, to the, to the customer the solid up, up application and uh, to validate the old coding system because to do the navigation is very hard and very tough work that uh, our technical team is doing and the old information and the infrastructure which we are doing the digitalization it should be precise on the location and uh, we are testing already uh, it's, it's, it's on the test mode but the full-fledged deployment we are planning uh, with the much bigger partners that uh, which we are currently working uh, like the uh, the mobile company that uh, which we are planning to do the deployment. Thank you. Yeah. So, any other question? Yeah, may I ask uh, just one question? Um, thank you very much. Very interesting project, and uh, just uh, uh, a little, a uh, little bit about the marketing and monetization of the project yeah absolutely the, the main point of marketing and monetization of, of, of this is to uh, basically we are planning to implement it with the mobile company uh, already we are we are working with them and the monetization basically will be uh, the using of application and uh, also the customers uh, because uh, we wanted uh, to increase the number of the customers uh, of the market or the shops, which I uh, have, uh, I didn't have a chance to, to go through it more detail, but uh, for instance, the shop, the other places that uh, the people who uh, order or to, to, to visit or to see, uh, this is our approach. And uh, basically uh, we will plan to do the share of revenue with the mobile companies that we are planning to implement this project. And uh, the monetization, we already did the calculation and uh, that is good hope for the occupation of, of this pro project and program. And our goal is not only for Tajikistan, we wanted to make it a global because uh, this type of application, we did the international research and there is a small number, with this type of infrastructure and information that we are putting together, uh, we, unfortunately we didn't fi find it so far. We, we are aiming for the global uh, basically market. Um, one more question, uh, just an about your staff. Do you have enough staff for that? Uh, basically, yes. Uh, our staff is comprising uh, from the GIS specialist, Geographic Information System, who is developing the mapping and uh, doing this. And also we have the IT team, uh, IT, big, uh, IT team, which is doing the software and mobile application development, uh, which is doing the coding. And uh, uh, we, are, we are a little bit shortage of the data collection team, uh, which we are currently working. And uh, I, I hope from the next month, we will increase this technical team that 
to collect the more data. And this is the, the, basically the shortage of our teeth. But in terms of the uh, technical expertise, we are good. Thank you. Great. Good luck. Thank you very much. Okay, thank, thank you very much, Ruslan. Uh, thank you. Yeah, it was really interesting. So uh, we are, so we had five participants who basically pitched their uh, startups. So now uh, as according to our agenda, so we will basically right now uh, send you to another room. All the participants, please uh, go to another link where you can basically uh, watch uh, the results now. Uh, so right now, judges, so I will request you to please um, stay with us and we will start uh, to make, I mean, discussion and plus you can start uh, the evaluation process. And once you uh, finish your evaluation, so we can announce uh, the finalists for EWC 2021 in Tajikistan, who basically who will be representing Tajikistan in the EWC this year. And also as we promised, uh, we are going to announce the, the, <clears throat> the gift or the uh, price uh, the pre present that was um, uh, prepared by our uh, sponsor, the Parking Cafe. So we'll announce this shortly. Thank you very much. Akhil, sure, we cannot hear you because uh, you, I think you muted, right? I, I, I told you was talking and I told you was saying something and we didn't hear it because that's why I'm, oh, I'm saying that. Really? Okay, so I was, yeah, I was uh, explaining that uh, the judges will remain in this panel. Uh, and all the participants will need to go to other link where they will be watching the results. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we will basically give a five minute break for our judges. Yeah, and we will okay. be coming back here yeah, uh, live. You can please uh, go to the uh, this live st uh, streaming, which is uh, basically you can watch at EWC channel or uh, YouTube. Yeah, or sure. Uh -huh. Yeah, thank okay, you. thank you so much. Thank you for Thank you. Thank you.